Here is my RC Powers J20 Easy Build. Um, now I'm going to go over everything I've done so far. It's all finished, and so I'm going to be going over the control surfaces and all the mixing that I did, stuff like that. I'm going to flip it over first and show you the battery hatch where all the electronics are. Magnets keep it in place. I got my 2200 milliamp 3 cell with a 30 amp BSC uh, spectrum receiver. Just uh, the wires were actually not that messy. Uh, the ailerons come in from the side. The uh, V tails come in from the back and go under. And then the one for the canards just come through the front. So it's very clean. Aileron control surface is right there. Flip back over. The motor is a 22-1206 on a 6x4 prop. Okay, now for the mixing and things. I have the V-tail set up on my V-tail, obviously. Rudder, elevator. And then the dual aileron mixing for the ailerons slash spoilerons. And then I have, instead of a flaps switch and a gear switch, I have the flaps mixed to the gear switch so that it's a high alpha switch. So when I do this, it does both the canards and the spoilerons. And then I have dual rates on the aileron, so this is max throw and this is a lower rate. And on the canards, I have a hatch here to... A to access in case I need to replace the servo or do some more modifications to it and that's also a magneted hatch with the hole so it doesn't so it pokes through the thing um, this is odd because when it's in high alpha it's able to do a elevator but then when it's down and you do elevator it doesn't do that and now that's a radio thing and I'm not sure how to figure that out but on this switch, when it's in high alpha mode, I have the ability on a switch to turn the elevator mode on and off. So now it's on, and with the switch, it just goes back in case I just want to keep it there. I'm going to experiment in flight with whether I like it moving or whether I like it stationary. And obviously, what angles of spoilerons work the best, and what angle of canards work the best. Um, the only thing that's keeping this from being flight ready is the fact that the ESC gets hot even when I'm just messing around with the servos and things. That needs a BEC, so I ordered some of those off Hobby King, and they should be here, I don't know, two weeks maybe. So that'll regulate the power that the servos require instead of overheating the ESC. Uh, hopefully I get to fly it soon and keep up to date with this, subscribe.